This way I can cut the VOD easier to put on YouTube. Okay, so now that we've finished this, let's go pop into the baby challenge save and we'll play a little bit. I'll catch you up to speed on what's going on and then we'll play a little bit of the baby challenge. Um, as promised. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, but I did promise I would, so I will. <laughs> and it's been a while, so it's probably good for us to pop back in there and see what's going on in there. Um, Mods should peer pressure her more? What? <laughs> don't give these people any ideas. Don't, don't be on their side. <laughs> Thank you for indulging me and building for my silly little gay werewolves. Love you, Simzy. Don't worry, C. I got you. It was good. It was good. Maybe I'll do Christine's uh, Spencer Kim Lewis reno again soon. But not yet. Not yet. I need time to emotionally prepare for that, you know? Um... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get ready. <laughs> okay, so in the baby challenge, let me show you my spreadsheet, first of all, because I do have a spreadsheet. Um, this spreadsheet that I'm about to show you contains all of the babies that we have had. Uh, it has all of the name suggestions for future babies. Um, we are on baby number 59, pregnant with number 60 at the moment, so we're doing pretty well, I would say. Um, you can also see all of our rats and everything. Um, on this page. This is my sim. Her name is Rosa. Uh, she also has a kid named Just Dance, Stefan, Shrek, uh, Frebby, Fazbear, and Artichoke in the house right now. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. I don't know their names either, so you don't need to know their names. And we are currently um, third trimester in 13 hours. Okay, and this baby, Artichoke, whoa! What happened to you? Okay, well, <laughs> um, all of the baby names are suggested by people who donated to our fundraiser for St. Jude back last May. Um, we've been randomizing them off this list, so I did not pick any of these. Believe it or not, more than one person suggested that name, it looks like. Um, but yeah, all of these were suggested by people from chat, so we've been randomizing it from this. I did not pick any of these names. They were forced upon me. <laughs> Um, that's kind of where we're at with those, um, and we got to get a move on with this because it's taking me too, too, too long. Oh, I just sold your dinner in the middle of you eating it. All right, let's see how the kids are doing. It is a Wednesday. You need to get your skill up if you're going to get uh, your grade up tomorrow. So maybe go start working carefully on a school project. You go work on yours. Honestly, you go work on yours, and maybe you could start one. All right, and how's this kid doing? We try and get two in every category. And actually, believe it or not, I just need to give you a bubble bath and then I can age this baby up. So we're pretty close to that one. Let's do that. Okay, someone died. Oh, yeah, our children keep dying of, of like, first of all, old age. The first kids are dying of old age right now. And Neighborhood Stories has gotten some of the siblings, so. We have a lot of kids. Um, it's it's kind of common that they die on us. So <laughs> let me try and move my headphones. They keep sliding forward and kind of bugging me. But sleepy Aiden, Kristen, the year of the subs. That's inconvenient. Yeah, right. It's isn't it so annoying. We also need to get the next parent lined up. Um, whoever we're gonna have kids with next. A lot of the like default original townies are all super dead. Um, so we're kind of just having kids with random people. Our third trimester was when? In 12 hours. So tomorrow morning, we'll go out and try and find someone to have our next kid with. Okay, so I try and get level, no, I try and get milestones, two milestones in every category, except the life one, because who cares about you being born? So this one is ready to age up now, so that's good. We can get it to be a toddler. Um, it's She is still the first mom, yeah, she's, very close to becoming- oh, it's 8 a.m. not 8 p.m. Why did I think it was nighttime? Oh. Well, huge fail. Look at this kid's situation. Oh, you don't have class today, though. Okay. I thought it was 8 p.m. for some reason and not 8 a.m. Maybe it's just dark outside because of the rain. I wasn't, like, looking that close at it. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> That's my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, let's age up the baby. Now blow out candles, artichoke. Here we go. I'm gonna like let it be on triple speed too. 
All right, well, you're not gonna get your grade up today, so that's a shame. You go to school too. You go to school too. You might get your grade up. You don't have the skills you need. We can try and get you ready for it. All right, I have a toddler. Would you like to babble? Oh, that's the game thunder. Yeah, it's not storming where I am right now in real life, thankfully. No storms right now. You have a baby named Artichoke? Oh, we got babies with worse names than that. The baby challenge is kind of um, scary, I would say. I don't know. <laughs> okay, would you care to put that back in the fridge? I keep selling her food in the middle of her eating it. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that to you. Yikes, my bad. <laughs> is there a stinky diaper in the toddler room? I don't see a stinky diaper anywhere. Do you see a stinky diaper anywhere? I'm not going to Dinosaur's house. Okay, well if the... Hmm. I guess we could go... <sighs> I kind of want to stay home. Oh, the kids are going to sleep. Never mind. Let's go out and let's try and find the next baby daddy. Oh, at the end of the slide, it's right there. I see it. Hold on. I don't know how I didn't see that. Sorry, everybody. Sell that stinky diaper. Okay, I'm going to go find the next baby daddy. Just while the kids are at school and asleep and stuff. Um, okay, so let's go to the Anchor Point Library and see who's around. I may just pick the first person who's readily available to us, just to make things easier. Because I don't really care to be not at home right now. I don't know, Raven. You'd have to ask him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Anyone here? Oh. Librarian. You do look cute. That might be the one. Let's just go for it. Come on. That got us a little bit of romance. Kiss hands. I date a librarian. That's my son, sorry. <laughs> Ignore that. I can't condone mutton chops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest, I don't love this guy's facial hair. But I'm not the one trying to have a kid with him. That's her, not me. So that's not my problem. Oh. Now I'm a bit gloomy. From sad bomb emotion quirk. From losing a child. Listen, I don't think that she cares about her Sims kids being dead. What a thing to say. I'm sorry. I don't really know why I said that out loud. I did just cheat away her sadness about her child dying from neighborhood stories <laughs> look she's got a bunch of them so does she need that one no i don't think she's that worried about it like when you have 69 kids like you barely remember that one i don't know which one of them died i can't remember so she probably can't either. She's not seen them all in ages. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> oh, she has 59 kids, not 69. Oh. Sorry guys, false alarm. We don't have 69 kids. We only have 59. That's pretty bad. Huge disappointment, if you will. Oh. Oh wait, I like that sim better. Oh, well, I could romance you as well. Oh, maybe not yet. Here, I'll do a little cheerful introduction so I'm ready for you next. We should probably focus on whoever we've got the most romance with for this current baby. Yeah, I like them though. They are cool. Okay, so we have two babies like ready to be lined up. I guess we should have enough romance with this one. Maybe I'll bring the librarian home with me. And then from there, we can call up Danny next. Um, come here. 
Okay. The next Among Us stream? Either the 21st or the 22nd, Fig. We haven't decided yet. We're still voting on what day works better for people. Um, but either the 21st or the 22nd is what uh, sounds like it's going to happen. Right now, the 21st has 11 votes and the 22nd has 10. So probably the 21st. Um, but that's a recent development. Before, it was the 22nd that had more. So we'll see. I'll let you know. It's hard to coordinate, like... There's like 20 people in the Among Us server, so it's hard to coordinate a day that like works for the most people. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, it's like hard to figure out like when most people are free and sometimes there's like some level of like, oh, you know, so-and-so was busy the last two times, maybe we'll try and pick the day that's better for them on purpose because they didn't get to play last time, you know, so there's like a little bit of scheduling for a, a big group is hard, <laughs> you know, <laughs> as you can imagine. It's like, how do you figure out what's best to do? A um, little bit of uh, decision making that goes on. Um, okay, I think the 21st is a Wednesday. Um, so that'll change our stream schedule, but that's not, not a big deal. All right, we should be okay. Our exchange is steamy enough that when the baby is born, we can have, we can woohoo that guy straight away. All right, you use the bathroom. And then you should probably, honestly, just keep working on the school project. I'm, I hate to say it, but you just need to uh, get your needs up and stuff. Okay, and then you can keep talking to this bear. The 21st is a Wednesday because my birthday is a Friday. We're very excited, Hope. Really, really exciting stuff going on this month. <laughs> It's a Wednesday because that's when you land in London. Oh, very exciting. That'll be so fun. I'm I'm happy for you. Hope you have a good time. February is stacked. <laughs> oh, good. I'm going to uh, New York at the end of February to see Hope. Um, the very end of February, like on leap day kind of vibes, which is kind of fun. Um, just for a couple days, but I'm going to be in New York at the end of the month. So very fun stuff. Um, Okay, you eat your little food, please. We've got big plans, like watching Drag Race in our pajamas. <laughs> We're gonna see a show too, but I won't tell you what one. Um, yet, at least, so. Really exciting plans though. <laughs> okay, all the kids are home. You are officially not thriving. You have to get your grades up tomorrow so I can get you kicked out of here. Um, all right, you do that and then you can watch some TV for a bit and then you need to work on this some more so you can... Well, maybe go start working on that one. Okay, you, oh, your fun is also terribly low. That's no good for you. Take a shower. Grab a serving. The the rain being this bad is very upsetting to me because I've previously had a sim die of being struck by lightning in here. <laughs> in this save, we've had some lightning related incidents. So um, I'm a little bit, you know, nervous, if you will. <laughs> you forgot about leap year, really? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's easy to forget. Uh, it's not exactly like, that common or that big of a deal, I would say. Anyway, um, okay, you're good. Well, you're playing some games or something. Should change the Y command. Oh yeah, I haven't updated the command yet. Um, so maybe one of the mods will do it. Maybe, <laughs> we'll see. Your cat is asleep on your arm, but you want to play Stardew. Oh, I get the struggle. I really understand. I've been there. I've been there. Okay, you're good now. Your needs are fixed. This TV makes their fun go up so quick. It's like so useful. All right, you should be good now too. All right, kid, your turn. Which one's yours, that one? All right. Everybody get a move on. You have a coworker that's born on leap day? Oh, that's really fun. I heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't actually seen this myself yet, but this is the um, first time there's been a leap day since Animal Crossing. Yes, no, maybe? Um, I can't remember. When's did Animal Crossing come out? But I think someone told me that there's like special dialogue for Animal Crossing birthdays. Um, so, yes, it came out in March, that's right. 
Um, so it is the first one since uh, since the last Leap Day. But there's a special dialogue for uh, Leap Day birthdays. It's the first Leap Day birthday to happen um, in uh, in New Horizons. So it's kind of fun. Um, you shared a video on mods. Oh, I'll have to look at it later then. Um, but that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, okay, so you're just talking to yourself. You want to come do some painting? How about you, kid? You want to come play with this? Half the battle is just skill building in this game. Much to do skill wise. Okay, we're trying to get rocket science skill, evidently, <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Um, your mom is a leave your birthday? Oh, that's really cool. When, when does she choose to celebrate her birthday? On most years then. Um, what would be her preference for an average year? I think that's really cool though. Okay, this kid's a B student. You are also a B student who is also level two. As long as they can get level three in this skill before tomorrow, then we'll be set. Both the 28th and the first for me. Oh yeah, if I was a leap day birthday, I would pick both. I would pick both. I'm a, I am a big fan of birthdays, <laughs> so. Whoa, Christine, whoa, you don't know that. This could be a speed run if I wanted it to be. When you do speed runs, it's about game time, not how long technically it's been. Yeah, I started in May and it could be a speed run if I, if I said so. <laughs> Last year you scoffed when I said I'd still be doing this the following May. No, I'll finish it in time. I'll finish it in time. Just you wait. Well, the next couple months, I'll do some like big timey streams of trying to finish this stupid challenge and I'll get it done in time. I'm brave and strong. I can do it. I can manage. You're not even halfway. Um, shh. Shh, shh, shh. It's fine. There, I am, but not if you count that I have to have extra, technically. But shh, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I'll do like a big stream playing it all day in a couple weeks. Let me see. And if I have to finish it, imagine, guys, imagine if we finish it on like day one of Play Live this year. You know, like imagine if we are getting, our, we set ourselves up so we can finish it during the first day of the fundraiser. And then we'd be like, we finish it, whoa, this is so cool. You know? <laughs> that could work. We have to have, so, We've got a couple months. We, I, we'll be okay. Can we never do it again after that? Oh yeah. Never again. This challenge is really boring to me, especially at this point of it. Like now that we've gotten to a point in the save where we've got like, we have all of our money, we have the giant house, we've got like the method down, our skills are kind of maxed. It, it becomes extremely repetitive and boring to the point where it's like not fun. In the beginning, when, when you're looking at it and you're like, whoa, I've got a hundred more. You're like, how am I gonna live? How will I survive? But at this point, it's more just like, I've been there, I've done that, you know? It's just like normal. But anyway, hi Owen, by the way. Oh, masterpiece. Oh, I kind of like that one. That's actually like really cute, I think. Maybe I'll hang that up. Got some art on our walls, you know? Yeah, now it's just about like kind of grinding through to try and finish stuff. And that's just not as interesting to me. Um, but anyway, it's okay, we'll get through it. Would you care to go to sleep? kid? Why not? Same with you. School project finished. You are sleeping in the wrong bed, kiddo. And you are starving by accident. Sorry. All right. 
did me say you could lose all your money that could still be fun yeah we talked about getting rid of some money um and like starting with a smaller house again i i feel i still feel like i just built this house so i want to get some more fun out of this house and i haven't renovated the upstairs yet i don't want to build right now today because i just did a bunch of building but we can still spend some money to like deck out the upstairs and then we can probably like bulldoze the house and build a small one again just because I feel like it's more fun for me to try and like work up to something. Um, so I, I might prefer that if we did that for a bit. You know? Reset at 62 babies, aka halfway. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, we have to have 124 babies because I promised that if we raised $500,000 for St. Jude last year, I would. Huge mistake. I didn't think it was going to be possible. Um, so we said we would restart after 24 babies, but then chat was like, no, don't restart completely. <laughs> um, just keep going and just add 100 from now. Um, so that's so why we had to have 124. But we still call it the 100 baby challenge because calling it the 124 baby challenge just sounds ridiculous. Like when you say that, you have to like explain the whole thing. So we'll, we'll figure out a better method for explaining quick later on. Like when we actually get there. For now, 100 babies, you know? Um, it was chat's idea. Oh, they, you guys, this challenge is miserable for me and you. Like, I don't think anybody actually likes this. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like nobody actually enjoys this. <laughs> it's, it's kind of, <laughs> maybe you do. I don't know. It's just long. It's long and repetitive, but it's fun to hang out and just talk during. You know, like, it's one of those things where, like, yes, it is kind of repetitive, but it is a good time for us to just hang out and spend some time doing fun stuff during. And we can always do some, like, side quests. Like, we have a money tree now. We could get a rocket ship soon. I could buy a rocket ship right now and have a rocket ship side quest. Like, it's always fun to, like, use this opportunity to do various skill building. Oh, that's a lightning strike thing. You know what else we could get? Oh, this is blocking the path. Hmm, put it over there. We could get like the juice fizzer. Cause I, I quite like the fizzing station. That might be fun. We could use that as a hobby. I don't know, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> Keep sleeping. Hurry up. <laughs> SJP, thank you for the 34 months. I'm pretty sure you begged us not to make you restart. Yeah, but I was always gonna do it. I made my promise. I knew what I said. I didn't mean it when I said it. But in my defense, what happened was, in like the beginning of the month, I always do the month-long fundraiser in May every year for years now. In the beginning of the month, we had raised like maybe $100,000 at this point which is a lot of money. But somebody in chat comes in, they're like, hey, would you restart if you raised 500,000? And at the time I was like, yeah, okay, sure. I would, yeah, I would restart for $500,000. Yeah, I'd restart. But like, nobody thought that that was gonna happen. Like nobody thought that was gonna be the case. You know, when that, when we said that, Nobody was like, uh oh, she's gonna have to restart. And I kind of had forgotten I said it. So <laughs> that's the clip. Hold on, I might actually kind of want to watch this. I haven't watched this in a long time, so I don't remember what I said. Wait, hold on, turn the music down. Here we go, okay. So at the, oh, I guess I shouldn't put it full cam because then you can't see me. <laughs> what did I say? This is not cute. <laughs> Um, Donnie, thank you for the $150. Would you restart the 100 baby challenge for 500k for St. Jude? You know, yeah. Yeah. At this point, yeah. By then, it's gonna hurt, but yeah. <laughs> Ella, with what, that's all I said? See, to me, it was, didn't matter to me. I thought, doesn't matter what, the, what I say. No one's gonna remember this. No one's gonna care. It won't happen. Like, to me, it was like, whatever. Sure. <laughs> and now I'm still paying the cost. I'm paying the price for this to this day. <laughs> but how could I have known? We had five babies then. I had five babies then. 
The viewers are good at remembering. They don't forget anything. They know what you say. And they remember that you said it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get anything past Twitch chat, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright kids, what's wrong with you all? Um, use the bathroom. Oh, just replace that quick. Let me take a shower. How about you? Use the bathroom. Take a shower. Oh, you don't need to shower. Use the bathroom. Eat a snack. You want to come? You, oh, you are going to use the fancy bathroom. Okay, that's fine. Grab a serving. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Is there a clip of the realization? I don't remember. We'd have to get chat to dig. I don't know if one of the mods has it on hand of the like hitting 500k and remembering. I'd have to find it. I'm not sure. Um, the problem, the problem is like the, it's, it was stretched out over a long period of time. So I don't know if there is like a minute long cut down. We'd have to try and find it. Um, but, oh. My mom is spamming me with texts of photos of me and the dress that I bought today. If you guys missed it, I bought a wedding dress today. So I'm looking at pictures right now that she just sent me of ones that I hadn't seen. I'm not gonna show you. But I got a bunch more pictures just now. <laughs> You're so curious. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be so annoying to not talk about it for like a year. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know how I'm gonna manage. I'm such- I just run my mouth so much. You guys, I talk about everything. I just sit here, I'm- all day. I stream for hours every day. I say so many things. Yeah, I've got a date too, but I shouldn't- I probably shouldn't say the wedding date either. I think that I should probably keep that one private. I- I'm- even like when we get close to it, I'm probably gonna try and keep it private until afterward. I'm really nervous about like the date and location of it getting out. Um, it's like a kind of a deep fear of mine <laughs> of like the what if someone shows up like I've had people show up to my house what if they like show up to the wedding like that's like worst case scenario to me so I'm gonna try and keep it quite private um, with the, with that so um, but anyway <laughs> um, yeah, that happens a lot. Like, so this also a lot of other YouTubers do this kind of thing too, where it's like, um, you know, they'll post pictures like the day after and then talk about it the day after or whatever. Um, but uh, I don't know, even like with the kittens, I didn't tell chat about the kittens straight away either. I kept them in my house for a few, honestly, like a couple of weeks before I told chat about the kittens. Um, I kept that one private. <laughs> but I wasn't sure if I was gonna, after I found these kittens in the sewer, I didn't really know if I wanted to keep them, if I was just gonna foster them until they were old enough to go away from mom. Um, so I didn't want to talk about it straight away until I had like more of a grasp on my personal handle of the situation. Um, but then once I knew better, I was like, okay, now I feel like I know what I'm gonna do with this, you know, so I can talk about it with chat. I couldn't not yap about kittens. Yeah, I literally had, I literally had all these cats in my house for like a couple of weeks and I wasn't telling chat about it. Can you imagine? Oh, it's terrible. Um, but people like, if I did end up just fostering them and not keeping them, the, the problem is that people, and me too, I would get attached too, but like people get very attached to the idea of them. And if I was gonna just foster them, I needed to be like emotionally ready to handle the discussion with the thousands of people online that were going to have questions about it, you know, without the pressure of like, you should keep them. <laughs> and I did keep them, but oh, we can donate to charity. That's fine. I just, I didn't know yet, you know, so wanted to figure out for myself first <laughs> before I talked about it too much. Um, anyway. Um, Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I did when I moved too. I was like, I'm gonna take some time off stream to pack and then move. And then, ah, no! Oh my God, wet sock has died. Okay, well I took some time. I was like, oh, I'm gonna take some off stream because I'm gonna move next week. And then I was like, actually I moved yesterday. And then I came on to stream, you know? So <laughs> that's what I did with the move too. Um, so I'm probably gonna, I don't know, we'll figure out what we'll do, but, but that's the situation. Okay, so wet sock is in fact dead, which is a, a true shame. Um, we do need to pick a new rat. So let me pick a baby. Oh, you can't see what I just did. 
I killed wet sock on the uh, spreadsheet. So <laughs> let's pick a new a new rat name. Uh, we have out of 1670. Again, these are all name suggestions that were given to us by chat back. Uh, these people all donated money to our fundraiser back in May for St. Jude. Number 1599. Heidi. Oh, that's cute. Okay, green is for rats. All right. Heidi. Um, okay. And then purchase rodent, rename, Heidi. Okay. Um, that's a really pretty name. Yeah, I like the name Heidi. I think that's nice. I think that's really nice. Um, probably didn't think that was going to a rat. No. <laughs> No, definitely not. Going from wet sock to Heidi is really funny, too. Um, okay, anyway. Would you like to... We're still bathing the kid. We probably will go into labor any minute, yeah. Your aunt had a cat named Heidi because it hit a lot. That's cute. I like that. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my god, I think that the bath is glitched. Maybe not. It's just not finishing fast. Yeah, I love when pets have human names too. I think that's really cute. Okay. The kid is officially taken care of. Skill-wise, your imagination is maxed. Your communication is close to being maxed. And then you gotta start working on movement so I can get you aged up. Oh, your aunt had a cat named Katie. I, I couldn't do that because I have a million, I'm going to call them cousin-in-laws, but I, oh, we're in labor. My, I have three cousins that have married a person named Katie, um, which is really weird. <laughs> they're, well, they're all named Caitlin, but they go by like variations of it. There's a Katie, there's a Kate, there's a Caitlin. Um, but like all of a sudden I had three cousins get married in a row all to a person named Caitlin and Dan's sister is named Caitlin as well. So like all, all of a sudden out of nowhere, it's like there was four more Caitlins in my family. <laughs> there were zero and then there were four, <laughs> which is a very fast adjustment period, but it's kind of funny. Um, I like them all. So that's good. <laughs> And they do go by different, like, there's, you know, the Kate and the Katie and the Caitlin, so it is different. But their names are all Caitlin, their full names. All right, baby time. We get to randomize another name right now. It's good that we have this open. So, the name for the human baby, and not the rat, is 462. Okay. 462. Cora. Oh, that's pretty. I, why do I feel like we had a kid named something like Cora? before. Maybe I- oh, it was Koa. Okay. That makes sense. That's close. Um, good for them. Okay. Cora. Two, like, normal names. <laughs> That's nice. And thankfully not twins. Jeez. Okay. Would you like to call up your boyfriend? So- oh my god, he's even here. He's literally out here playing the piano right now. Okay, I guess I'll come up to you. The baby can just sit there for now. 464. No, what you're thinking of is um, on here, we go by this number. The big number, not that number, the big number. We do it on purpose. Um, you're thinking that one, we go by this one. So, always have. Does twins only count as one baby? No, twins count as two babies. I find twins to be a lot worse um, and a lot less smart um, than having the one baby. Oh, are you gone now? I will literally teleport to you. I don't even care. Um, yeah, I find having twins, it seems like it'd be a good idea and not so very, but actually um, I think that it's a bad idea because it, really slows down your ability to have kids quickly because now you have two sims in your house so you've got one less house slot open 
right? I've got seven kids right now, seven spaces in my house. So all of a sudden you've got one less house slot open. It takes longer to age them up and move them out because you've got more Sims in your house already. So it's harder for you to like take care of them because there's two. So you're going a little bit slower with the whole process. Um, so generally speaking, I feel like it seems like it would be good, but I actually think it's worse to have twins and triplets. Um, so, did I say not so berry? Oh, I meant a hundred baby. <laughs> Sorry. I meant a hundred baby, obviously. Um, okay, baby count is officially 60 now. We just had another one. Are you pregnant? No? Oh my gosh. You have to try for a baby again. Oh, I just asked my boyfriend. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh, are the kids here? Okay, hold on, let me pause for a sec. Oh no, another Sim's dead? Oh no. Ryan Rodrigo has passed away. Uh-oh. Let me check the vibes here real quick. We might have had another Neighborhood Stories kill of one of our siblings. Oh no, maybe Ryan's old age. Who's Ryan? Oh, Ryan probably is old age then, because it's right there. Beef's not dead yet, but could be any time. Yeah, probably old age for Ryan. Sorry, Ryan. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> now they're all going to be sad. I feel strongly about this. You guys didn't know them. Like, you haven't talked to them in years, literally. Okay, you, A student. You were only a B student. That's bad. Okay, um... Well, you're gonna age up and move out in a minute, so do you wanna take care of your sibling? Bottle feed, and then age up. I'm very overwhelmed today by the situation at hand. It's very stressful to me. Try for baby. Are you ditching me again? Don't do that. Stop calling. Okay, your fun is so low. Channel surf. How about you? B student, C student. Okay, how about you? Need a little bit more movement skill. Yeah, I age the babies up straight away and then I just deal with infants. Ever since the infant update came out, I don't bother with the baby life state anymore. Um, I think just deal with infants, you know? Oh my God, are you not gonna try for a baby? What is wrong with you? Can I just force us to be pregnant? I don't know if I can deal with this. Is he even one of the options? No. You guys, I gotta make my life easier. It must be done. I can't be dealing with it taking a long time to like try and have the baby. <laughs> you said you'd be going now. No, you won't. No, you won't. What is wrong with you? Reset. Come here. Teleport? No? Just try for a baby, it's fine. All right, Cora aged up, we've got an infant. Let me see if your sister can put you on the baby mat. We'll try there. But now there's eight Sims, that's okay. I've got a mod so I can have more than eight Sims in a household. Um, it's up 24 max. I don't use that to have more than eight sims normally, but I do have a mod for it. So you don't need to worry about that too much. Um, all is well. Yeah, he knows what happens after we try for a baby. Oh, the football team sports day is starting. That's true. <laughs> the football team sports team, football day sports, football team sports day. Right, sorry. Sports day is tomorrow in real life. Okay, that was good. I got there. That was not my most effective moment just then, but... Okay, now I'm pregnant. All right, next step, we gotta take a picture with you. Take a photo with Kengo. Come on. Come on. Okay, this is for the basement. And then after this... MC command center, sim commands, maintain sim, kill sim. Um, 
Hold on. Okay. Problem solved there. Oh, what was your name again? Hold on. Kengo, okay. Let me put it on the spreadsheet. Um, let's see. 61. We've got this. Make it light green. Is that the right name? No, M, not L. Oops, sorry. All right, good thing I checked it before I had him go away. That would have been bad. All right. Um, photo wise, here's the new ones. So that's baby number 60. This is number 61. I'll put his grave there in a minute. And we also have, uh, we have some more of these things too. And we have a lot of toys. Okay. Well, let me just unpause so we can get this over with. You can be sad if you want. I'm just gonna cheat it away when the time comes. I'm gonna age the teen up while we're here waiting. Did you just get a bunch of money from selling toys? Yeah, they're worth a lot. It's pretty helpful. Okay, I'm gonna sell this to get rid of these guys. 11 grand worth of toys. Isn't that so chaotic? It's pretty good though. Okay, you work on another one of those. You could probably also work on it. Oh. All right, bye. We're gonna kick this teen out of the house and I'll get rid of him too in a minute. Are you ready yet? Oh, you're ready to age up too. Okay. Would you like to add some birthday candles and age up your sibling for me? Help. Oh no, don't grab a serving. No, 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 no. Stop. Oh, I can't help anyone while Sim is dying, apparently. <laughs> I didn't know that you could help or you could have a Sim not age up a baby when someone's dying. It's over now though, so we're fine. Okay, let me just get this down here. All set up. Okay, bye Hope, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I think for dinner, me and Dan are gonna have stuffed peppers today. Real exciting stuff, I know. Um, if anybody is sad about him dying, I'll just be getting rid of that. I sorta am of the opinion that they didn't know him, so they don't care, you know? Uh, let's age up artichoke. I gotta take care of the baby in a minute. I'll let mom eat first. Okay, and I'll get some more toys. Yeah, I like stuffed peppers a lot too. One of my faves, I would say. All right. Um, the last one I need to work on things is you. Because you gotta get your skills up too. All right, and then I gotta kick out our nearly adult sim um after she finishes aging up the baby we shall start there the mod that i using to delete those moodlets is called the ui cheats extension oh <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on that did not work um do you want to try that again um <laughs> candles help from your sister please I'm allowed to cheat that, I think, just for the sake of time. We gotta get something done at some point. <laughs> okay, do I have to kill the partner for the challenge? No, 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 I just think it's more fun that way. Um, for me, it's, uh, it, I really enjoy the chaos of me killing the previous baby dad, uh, or whoever. Um, it's really funny to me how I just do it silently and then chat's like, oh my god, she's killing them so casually, what's going on? Like, every time, it makes me laugh. I think it's really fun, so I like to do it. Also, Artichoke turned out vegetarian. Kind of funny for a sim called Artichoke. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, but yeah, I really, um, really enjoy that process. <laughs> So, okay, let me kick out our current sim. K 
Kayla can't have a challenge without collecting graves anymore. Yeah, apparently. Oh, bunch of our kids are gonna start dying off in that household. One of our kids has another kid in there. Here, I'll move her into this house with her siblings. Okay, and we go back in. So, yeah, I also think that getting rid of them helps because you, you aren't supposed to use the same person for kids twice. And I guess you would know because you'd have a romance bar with them, but I just, I feel like it really helps to keep track um, when you're doing it this way and getting rid of them. So, that's why I like to do it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Cam, Riot, and Lena, and Vi, and SJP, thank you for the subs. And I like to collect graves. So it's a win all around. Okay, kid, you can come start working on one of yours too. We'll all work a little bit on these today. And I think that because I bought a wedding dress today, I think we can cheat two needs of all sims. That's how it works. Yep. For sure. Okay. Um, the kid's gonna need woken up maybe to... I'll try and feed it in a minute. I don't follow that logic. What? It's a special day! You can cheat needs on your special day. That's how it works. Oh, wrong thing. I'm trying to click on you. Sorry. Baby care, bottle feed. <laughs> I feel strongly about this. It's a classic rule. If you ever read the like official rules, it says on there, if it's a special day, you can cheat their needs. You know, weren't you building earlier? Yeah, but I finished the build. So we started working on this a little bit. Um, we got it, we got to do it or else we're never going to finish this. <laughs> Okay, um, the kids got their attention stuff going up. I'm not tired, so. You finished a build, special day. It's somebody in chat's birthday, special day. It's a Saturday, special day. <laughs> you guys, there's always something to celebrate. If you look hard enough, there's always something. Okay, good stuff. How are you doing? Do you finally have the skills? Okay, good. You could probably stop this now. If you really wanted to. I might have you come eat. You got accepted into the master's program you applied to? See? Special day! <laughs> exactly! Congratulations, by the way. That's very cool. That's very exciting. <laughs> You're really helping my case right now, too, so thank you. All right, this kid is pretty much good. You should become a teen tomorrow. Um, Shrek has maxed, yeah. I think you're pretty good. <laughs> Would you like to go to sleep? After you finish eating, you can go to sleep too. Um, this one's quite hungry, but... Oh yeah, you're fine, you're gonna get your grade up. And you can go to sleep then. I'll send everybody to bed. It is Chinese New Year. There you go. Special day. <laughs> uh, we have much to celebrate. Much to celebrate. Um, good call, chat. Okay. I'm sorry you're not having a good day, Squid. Um, but yeah, The Sims even has, is celebrating the Lunar New Year because they have a sale on for the Lunar New Year. <laughs> um, so there you go. You can celebrate in The Sims by buying a pack. I don't know how good the sale is. I know that even uh, the rent pack is on sale though. It's only like 10% off the rent pack, but um, I think I aged up the wrong teen. No, I didn't. This one uh, doesn't have an A in school yet. So I got the right one. We're all good. Um, but yeah, like on a serious note, happy Lunar New Year, everybody. <laughs> um, that's how I just spent my special holidays, buying stuff. Exactly, Owen. Exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. The way that I like to celebrate any holiday is paying money to EA. You know? So. <laughs> okay, would you care to play a lullaby for this kid? 
and then maybe we can go to sleep after that. Okay, good work. This has actually gone quite well. We had a kid. As long as we can have, you know, multiple babies all the time, then we should be good to go. Been watching old not so berry vods all day. Oh, fun! I hope you had a good time. I enjoy the not so berry streams. Those are really fun for me. So I hope that you like them too. Thousand simoleons on that. Jeez. It's like we're made of money or something. We kind of are made of money. But <laughs> any idea when I'm going to get off stream? Ah, uh, I usually stream until about seven o'clock Eastern time. So I probably will today too. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how the vibes are once we're there. I would really like to get this infant slightly better off before I end stream because then I'll be in a better mood when I start stream next time. Um, cause I'll be like, oh my god, the infant is like almost ready to age up. So we have to do a bit more with the infant first and then we can probably leave. <laughs> but this way I'll be happy with myself. Cause I keep doing this thing where I have a baby and then immediately end stream. And then it's like, oh, it's a problem for me in the future. Bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> Future me does not like that. <laughs> also, Aspen and PD and Emo and Ace, like, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Everybody seems to be fine. I'm gonna just keep replacing these because it's a good way to spend some of the money. I hate how much money we have in this save. We got too much. It's too much. That's true, Owen. You are here. So it is a special day just because you're around. I agree. <laughs> okay, hurry up. We don't have to sleep much, so that's helpful too. Special day. Not tired. Okay. Oh, you should probably feed a treat to the rat. It can be the rat special day. All right. So the kid needs more sleep than this. You could probably eat and shower. Did the, oh my God, it broke it again. It's love day, special day. Did the toilet break again? Oh my God, they're really stealing all my money. That's fine. I like to waste some money in this game. You probably don't need to pee. You can pee at school. You should eat. You should eat and you should eat. That's fine. Um, this one's gonna need fed and bathed, which I can do. Bottle feed, and then I'll give you a bubble bath. How about that? Um, yeah, maybe we could try and do it on stream, Chef Apple, because we'll have um, some more time to dedicate to the stuff. And now I'll, I'm an expert because I'm speed running, you know, with the checklist challenge they posted. Because I recorded, I made, I filmed that video yesterday, and I recorded for like three hours, and I didn't manage to get to a couple of the harder ones. But now that I've done it, when we do it again, it'll be faster, you know? Um, but anyway, my, my upload schedule was all thrown for a loop this week. Um, I was supposed to post a different video today, uh, but the contract wasn't done for the sponsor thing that it's going to be a part of, so I had to push it. So I had to wake up really early this morning to film a video, like last minute, quick, film a video before you leave to try on the wedding dresses. <laughs> so it was like a panic, like you gotta film something fast this morning. So it really threw off my whole, <laughs> um, I, I filmed, I made this sponsor video I was supposed to post today, like a week and a half ago. And it's like approved and everything, but the contract's not done, so I couldn't post it yet. So it really threw me with my schedule. It's okay, it's not a problem. But sometimes that kind of thing happens, it's out of your control, so. Anyway, um, Dan did edit it while I shopped, yes. <laughs> Dan was here and he edited the video while I was gone, so. Um, no, you don't have to keep the same mom for all 100 babies. We had talked about switching to a different, um, a different parent for it, just for fun to like, switch things up a little bit, um, but we don't. you don't have to. It's totally up to you. We could definitely finish the whole thing with one parent in this. Um, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Oh, shoot, study hard, all of you, before I forget. Okay, uh, but yeah, I didn't show Dan the dress that I bought. I won't though, I'm gonna be really brave. I feel like if I showed it to him now, he probably wouldn't remember by the time it actually comes around, but. I won't show him. Um, I won't show him. It'll be a surprise. 
Okay, tummy time, tummy time. This is like my time to shine because he had a ring that I couldn't see for a long time. So now I have something to hold over him. What if Dan finds the dress? Oh, I don't have it right now. They have to order it. Um, so I won't have it for like, they said it'll come in in like six months or something. And then they might have to like do a little bit of alterations. I'm gonna put sleeves on it. Um, so they're gonna have to like attach the sleeves to it. Um, so that'll happen too, but uh, anyway, I bought like separate sleeves and they're gonna put them on. So they're like kind of flowy, poofy sleeves. Um, yeah, it, it, there we won't have it for a long time. It'll be a ways until a ways away until we actually get it. So um, anyway, six months. Yeah, that's pretty normal. You have to buy a, a wedding dress depending on what kind of dress you get. It really depends, but it's pretty normal. It takes a long time for them to be ordered. Um, so, not abnormal at all. That's why I tell you to buy it, like, nine plus months before the actual wedding day. Okay, are you? Okay, you got those milestones. You need another social one and you need your fine motor ones. So I'll let you look at some toys by yourself, kid. Keep it up. Okay. Maybe you could come this way. Maybe while the kid's doing that, you could build a rocket ship. <laughs> why not? Um, why not? Are we going on a honeymoon? We haven't planned anything like that yet. That's not a priority for me right now. I think it'd be fun to go somewhere, but I don't know if we'll do anything super big. I don't know. Your cousin had a three month window. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a, that's a rush turnaround. It depends on what kind of dress you're getting though. Cause you can buy a dress that like has a faster turnaround. Um, but I don't really need to do that right now because obviously it's a ways away, so. Um, I don't know. My save the dates are coming in the mail. The ones that I, I ordered them already. Um, they're coming in the mail in two days on Monday. They're supposed to be delivered. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, very exciting. I never reply to you? Well, setting fire, there's a, like few thousand people here, so. Just cause I don't read your messages out loud doesn't mean I didn't see them. It happens, but. Um, you bought yours weeks before on Lulu's very stressful, do not recommend. Yeah, it's like nice to have it done and like over with and purchased already. Cause now like we know that we've got it and. I wasn't expecting to actually buy one today. Um, I sort of figured that I might, um, I don't know, have to go to a few places, but I really liked the one. And now I feel such a great sense of relief. The whole thing was very stressful to me. Like the whole process of going there and like the thought of trying on these dresses. It wasn't like, it wasn't gonna be fun for me. So I, I kind of wanted to like do it. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, I kind of liked it, but. <laughs> and my mom and my sister came, yeah. Um, so it's just the, just the three of us. Um, it was the first story. I haven't tried on any dresses until now, but I'm not too worried about going to multiple. I don't know. I liked this dress. I feel like if I went to a bunch after I, like if I didn't buy this one and I sat on it and I went to more, I would probably just like really overthink it for the next like few weeks and then like really get in my own head about it. Now it's done. I got it. It's done. Like, don't look at more, it's done. <laughs> you know, like, we picked the one, it's happened, it's done. <laughs> so. Um, oh, Lola, I'm sorry that happened to you. My mom, she bought her wedding dress um, by herself. She she tells the story, um, she like went and got one that was like a little bit more than the budget that she and her mom had decided on. She paid for it. Um, but like, you know, she had talked about it with her mom. Um, and uh, my mom didn't ever tell my grandma that the dress was like a couple hundred dollars more than they had talked about spending on the dress, but she didn't want her to know because she didn't want it to be a thing. <laughs> so she kept it a secret. She bought the dress in private and then didn't say how much she spent on it. Cause it was like, you know, maybe it was like, I forget how much it was, but it like maybe like 800 instead of 600 or whatever she spent on it, which is kind of expensive, especially back then. Um, but she didn't want anyone to know. So she kept it a secret and didn't tell her. <laughs> Went back by herself and was like, shh. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> so, I like it. I think that's funny. 
Okay, you can go to sleep, kid. Sorry about your day. You need to work on your talking milestones still. Oh wait, you're ready to age up. Oh, good. Okay, just go fall asleep, kiddo. I'll age you up right now. Um, okay. Um, open this. Your, mo your mom made her wedding dress? Oh, that is so cool to me. That is like such a power move. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cheat the kid's needs just so I can actually age it up because I don't really care to worry about it right now. Um, I've got all the milestones we need. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of- Oh, wrong sim! Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I may just age up the maid by accident. I'm sorry. Oh, now my cake spoiled. Oh, I deserved that. Your mom made hers too? I think that's so cool. Um, oh yeah, right, Owen. I mean, there's some like really cool suit stuff out there. I think you'll find something cool. That'll be kind of fun. I don't know what Dan's gonna wear. I don't know if he's thought about it or cares as much. Like, um, sorry to the maid. Is she an elder now? Did I just like make her old by accident? I'm so sorry, that's terrible. I just like sped up her death by doing that. I didn't mean to. Um, yeah, I can totally see that, Ryan, how that would be difficult. I mean, the whole process of weddings is so gendered. Like there are uh, wedding vendors out there that you can find that are not so gendered, you know? Um, there are a lot of people out there that um, like do weddings for other folks and stuff that aren't so like bride and groom focused, but a lot of like, when you look at like photographers, it's like bride and groom, <laughs> bride's names, groom's names. It's like very, so I, I totally get that. The whole system of it is all, is very hetero. <laughs> like it's hard to avoid, but there are people out there that aren't. It just takes some like weeding through to find stuff that isn't like that. This is disgusting by the way, the countertop, yikes. Um, Ooh, elegant half cape on the shoulder. A cape is cool. I like that. That's good vibes. Good call. Um, okay, hurry up. Finish the cake faster. You're inconveniencing everybody with this. Come on. Resume black and white cake. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Really, Tilly? That's pretty cool. I love that. Yeah, they make a lot of those decorations that are like, Mr. and Mrs. So <laughs> cringe. Um, yeah, that's good that you do that, Halo, that you do that. I'm glad. With the contracts and stuff, even down to those things, it makes a big difference to people, you know? Um, and it's way more inclusive. It's just, a, it's way better. So, I'm glad that you do that. Um, Oh, they, they paid extra so the dog would be in a little suit to come to the wedding pictures. I love that they did that. I think it's so cute when people have their pets at the wedding. Um, I really like that. All right, kid, how are you? You can age up now. You can age up now. These two kids are close. All right. Would you care to channel surf just a little bit? You channel surf too? Um... Oh, I like that with the placemats and the wood burn things and stuff. That's pretty cool. Your aunt baked her own cake. Oh, I love that. I think it's fun that people are like talented enough to do stuff like that. Um, well, I should have said yes to that liking fitness thing. All right, the kid's ready. How does one incorporate cats? Oh, first of all, the cats definitely cannot come. <laughs> The cats would hate that. I've seen a lot of people, um, they do things like, they'll put like cake toppers um, with their pets on the cake. I've seen people, they'll have like specialty drinks. Um, they'll have like a little menu of like, you know, a couple, like a cocktail or whatever. And they'll name it after the pets, after their pets, which is, oh my God, I was about to age you up with that. You have to make a new one now. Um, but I see people do stuff like that. I was joking to Dan about that, like a drink named shrimp. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't like you very much right now, Sim. You're not really uh, on my good side. It's like a, literally a shrimp cocktail though, which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, but it wouldn't be, there wouldn't be real shrimp in it. 
but we would call it a shrimp cocktail. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people do stuff like that too. Oh, your sister had a s'mores bar at her wedding? That's fun. I've never heard anybody doing that. That's kind of a cute idea. There's so many like funky dessert things that people do. Um, my a couple of my cousins or one of my cousins had a, like a wall of donuts, which I've seen people do before, like on Pinterest and stuff. Um, there's all kinds of like really fun dessert options. <laughs> Your cousin had churros. See, like that kind of stuff's so cute. I love that. I really like that. You've seen boba tea bars? Oh, that is really cool too. An assortment of mini cakes instead of one large one. Yeah, I like the idea of a cake for like the vibes, like having a decorative cake. But I, I feel like um, realistically small cakes, cupcakes, like having like a, a couple cakes with different flavors is probably more practical for a large group. But um, you had a mashed potato bar at your bat mitzvah. I love that, Marissa. I've seen people do stuff like that. I think that's really cool. I've seen someone do um, like a french fry bar kind of vibe with like a bunch of different kinds of french fries. Um, I think that's kind of fun as well. <laughs> that's a, a cute option. There's all kinds of funny things that you could do for stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, that's a way, way more practical way of doing it, Christine, to have like a small tiered cake for photos and then have sheet cakes to like cut for the guests because it's like cake is like cakes are so expensive and the sheet cakes are way more practical like yeah that's the that's the way okay we're gonna get rid of this sim now after you ate my cake without permission i am absolutely gonna be getting rid of you thank you very much goodbye um we've had officially 60 babies kelsey or baby count number 60. You had a sushi bar at your bat mitzvah? Oh my gosh, that's so fun. You did crepes instead of cake? <gasps> oh, I love hearing about stuff like that. I always think about how, um, I would never do this because I don't like pie that much, but Keith from the Try Guys had a bunch of different pies. He's talked about that before and I think that's interesting too. It's just kind of fun. Dessert is a fun way of like doing a cute little fun thing <laughs> for a wedding. Um, I like that. It's cool. If you store your birthday cake in your family inventory, it does not go bad. Oh, really? That's actually a good, good advice. You had ice cream cake? Whoa. That is cool. Auntie Ant's pretzel bar? <gasps> Soft pretzels is a fun idea. Everybody likes a soft pretzel. That is good. <laughs> that is good. I also like cookies a lot. So that's a fun idea to me too. I don't know, I haven't thought about this too much yet. So we'll see what we end up doing, but I'll tell you about it. Yeah, but with pretzels, you could do like a savory and a sweet thing, you know? So that is kind of a fun idea. Oh, I gotta get rid of this mess the toddler made. Whoops. All right, kid, what's your problem? You wanna come play with the toys? Maybe slide a bit? Dessert bar? Yeah, all this kind of stuff is just fun. I'm sorry, now we're all like getting hungry talking about this. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh-oh. Everybody's starving. <laughs> Didn't I have one more kid to age up? Oh wait, that's right, I had to age up this one. That's right, I forgot about this one too. Come here, kid. It's your time to shine. Blow out candles. Um. Beignets at their wedding? Oh, that is good. Oh, lactose intolerant. The Sim who just moved out was lactose intolerant. I like replaced them. <laughs> okay, out with the old and with the new. <laughs> Brand new lactose intolerant Sim. Okay, it is Friday, so we're gonna have all weekend. Um, the kids won't be going anywhere anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, I think that one can be gotten rid of now. Yeah, that makes sense to me, Owen. King cakes are pretty common. Me and Dan are getting the, the wedding venue, uh, much like literally everywhere in Florida. So I'm not like giving you a leak about where it is, but it's near a lake. <laughs> if you look at a map of Florida from like the, a satellite, everywhere is a lake. We live in a swamp, literally, so. But we were joking about how like, what if an uh, alligator comes up during the ceremony? 
It won't. That's never happened. In... ever. But, like, how hilarious would that be? I would like it. Imagine the photos. <laughs> I've... I, it wouldn't happen. But it would be funny. That would, like, absolutely... Imagine, like, all of Dan's family coming from the UK. Imagine the absolute horror if an alligator showed up during it. Like, that would just be... <laughs> Because <laughs> they don't know. They wouldn't know to explain. Like, it just would, <laughs> it would freak them out so bad. So we were joking about that. It's like a creature has shown up. There's a creature in the garden. I have a funny story about this. I'm sorry. I'll tell it again. I'll make fun of Dan one last time. But one time, so Dan is from England, right? The guy had never seen a possum before. Never. So one time he's looking out the window at night. He's like about to turn the porch lights off. So he goes to the window and like starts to turn the lights off. And he's like, oh my god, there's a creature in the garden! But he's like saying in his British accent, there's a creature! There's a creature in the garden! But he's talking about a possum. There was a possum in like the driveway, and he was like freaking out because there's this possum and he's never seen one before. <laughs> Granted, they are kind of creepy, especially with like the lights reflecting in their eyes. And if you hadn't seen one before, there's like a creepy rodent out there. And I get it, like it would be scary. But the like panic and the yelling from the window, there's a creature, there's a creature. <laughs> it's just like a possum. Oh, uh, anyway. <laughs> they are kind of weird though. They are kind of weird. Okay, you eat your food, kid. It's only a Friday night. We don't need to worry about any of this too much. And you can probably go to sleep in a minute after you're done. Okay. Off to bed in a minute. They are cute creepy. I agree. I, that's how I feel about them too. They're like cute creepy. They're not that bad. It's just like when anytime you see any sort of animal and you're not expecting to see an animal um, and there's like, you know, the light reflecting in their eyes and they're like glowing all creepily. I get it. It's weird. It's a little weird, but... <laughs> They're kind of cute, though. When you were living in the dorms during COVID, it was just you and Steph. You went to the communal bathrooms and you were on the toilet and something ran under your feet. It was a baby possum. <gasps> in the bathroom? I think that would have been too much for me. In the bathroom? How did it get in there? And there's probably more of them in there. No, if I saw any sort of rodent in the bathroom at the at the dorms, it would have been over for me. It's cute, but like when you're trying to pee, you're just at the bathroom. No, no. We had a bat that used to, our, our dorms, this is maybe a little bit weird if you're not from Florida, but you know in like motels where there's a door to the outside, the hallway is like outside, our dorm was like that. And, um, we had a, a bat that lived, like, up in the corner by the dorm. So you'd be walking into your room and you'd be like, there's the bat. <laughs> okay. There it is again. Um, a possum is not a rodent. Yeah, but it looks and acts like one. They have major rodent energy. You cannot sit here and act like it doesn't. Even my cat has major rodent energy. So... It's fine. <laughs> Call it what you want. <laughs> Those things, major rat vibes. So, anyway. <laughs> it's all about the vibes. It's not about the true classification. I don't care about that. <laughs> okay, go to bed. Okay. Back to sleep, back to sleep. Oh, there's ads playing. That's annoying. I'm sorry, chat. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. Okay, everyone to bed. You can also go to bed. And then we'll probably get off stream here in a minute. Um, but we'll play a little bit longer first before we go. Um, thought it was Drag Race time. No, that was yesterday. Drag Race is on Fridays. So, we are all good. Everyone, we had a uh, almost disaster yesterday. Um, our Queen Plasma was in the bottom three. Maybe it was deserved, but she's gonna come back from this. 
she was not in the bottom two, so she was safe. It was fine. But our Queen Plasma was in the bottom three, and I did have a moment of panic because the last two weeks of Drag Race have been, in my opinion, a great upset. And I was very displeased with who went home. So I was like, this can't happen again. And it didn't. We were okay. It wasn't Plasma, thankfully. <laughs> but I really liked Plasma, so <laughs> I was excited about it. I love Nymphia too. I thought that Nymphia should have been in the top yesterday. But anyway, I liked Nymphia's better than plain Jane's yesterday. But anyway, <laughs> I thought she'd been in the top. Um, okay, we'll keep sleeping all the way through the night. So plan for streams next week. I don't stream on Sundays, so I won't be here tomorrow. Uh, probably on Monday, I'm thinking we'll play Not So Berry. Um, so that's all I know though. All I know is not so berry on Monday. Um, oh, on Thursday, my stream schedule, I may be late to stream on Thursday, cause get this, I'm going to see a lawyer to write a will, <laughs> which is horrible and unpleasant, but it is what it is. So I may be late to stream on Thursday, <laughs> cause I'm literally going to see an estate attorney. <laughs> It needs to be done. It needs to be done. So you gotta get it done. I don't really like the idea of this, but adulting and whatnot. So I'm going to the, to an estate attorney on Thursday. So I may be late. I don't think I will be the appointments at 1.30, but they said allow 90 minutes for the appointment. Um, then I gotta come home and stuff. So we'll see, but I don't think I should be late, but maybe. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I don't know about this 90 minute business, but I don't know. I've never written a will before, so. Um, leaving everything to the cast. One of the questions on the on the will page is who will take care of your pets if you die, which is unpleasant to think about, but you know, you gotta cover these things, I guess. So, um, but anyway. I, even if you, like, I, I think that everyone probably should do this sort of thing, especially if you have kids. Like my mom talks about that a lot. I don't have kids, but everyone should do this. Even if you don't think that you have assets, like it just, it simplifies things in case of a, a you know, disaster, God forbid, but you probably should do it. Um, even if it's not fun to think about, you probably should do it. Everybody should do it, you know, um, it's important. So, but it's not fun. <laughs> it's really unpleasant to like, the whole thing is unfortunate. Um, but it, it helps, so. Anyway, <laughs> yucky to think about, but good to get your bases covered. So that's what I'm doing on Thursday. <laughs> um, okay, come on, everybody get some food, kids, while we're sat here, and then I'll probably end stream soon. What a great topic, you know? But that's my plan for next week. Not so very on Monday, um, will on Thursday. <laughs> Okay, um, and then maybe I'll just fix their needs a little bit. I think I'd like to end stream with their needs all taken care of because that'll make things easier for me when I play again, you know? Um, use the bathroom, take a shower, get some food. When's Among Us? Uh, the 21st or 22nd, we haven't decided yet. Yeah, and they, this is unpleasant too, but it, like they're gonna ask about your funeral plans. Like, it, yucky to think about, but you know, probably should be decided, so. Just get it over with. Um, uh, uh oh, our food is spoiled. Okay, well that's no fun. I think I have some more food in the fridge though that I can put out. I believe I already got some. Is there a Valentine's Day stream? Um, what day is Valentine's Day? It's a Wednesday, right? I we sh we will do a stream on Valentine's Day. I don't have any big plans for it yet. I guess it might be fun to think of something, but um. Oh, maybe on Tuesday, because it's the day before Valenta Valentine's Day, we could do like a Valentine's Day build. And then on Wednesday, we'll do something too. I don't know. I usually am live in the morning on Wednesdays though. So, um, we'll think of something, but we can do a couple Valentine's things. Maybe we could do like a funny little serial romantic type of challenge. Or you know what? This is cursed to think about, but truthfully, Maybe we should play the 100 baby challenge on Wednesday. Cause baby challenge has, I mean, we'll have to be doing a lot of woohoo. 
So we could do that. I don't know. I'll think about it more and then decide. But that might be a good thing for Valentine's Day. To do this challenge that day. That's Wednesday. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, okay. Good call, chat. Good reminder. It's pancake day on Tuesday. Is it pancake day? Oh my god, I'm out of the loop with when pancake day is. As a silly American. Um, February 13th! Oh, I'm not really just because I'm American, but I'm not usually in the in the loop with pancake day because no one in my family really thinks about this, but that is the 13th. Oh my god, I gotta write that down. Pancake day. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. Eliza Pancakes does not get an entire day. How dare she? Maybe we should do like an Eliza Pancakes build. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'll do like an um Eliza Pancakes thing for Pancake Day. That could be fun too. Okay, I've got some ideas. All right, we're ready. <laughs> no, no one I know in America celebrates Pancake Day. That's not a thing that I ever knew about until I started meeting people from Europe. And like my European friends were like, Pancake Day, but some some people do. It's just not like a thing that I was exposed to until I met people from elsewhere. So I don't know. I don't know where, but anyway, all the high school celebrate Pancake near, Day near you. <laughs> you don't celebrate either. Just exists. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Um, celebrate Mardi Gras though. Yeah, fair enough. Um, it kind of depends on what you what your upbringing was like, like and stuff too. Um, but anyway, maybe I'll make some pancakes. Who knows? <laughs> I think on that note though, I might go and find somebody to raid. Now I've made myself extra hungry. We're sitting here talking about pancakes even. We've been like nonstop talking about food all day. <laughs> um, okay, I think it might be kind of fun for us to go over and say hi to someone who is potentially also simming. Um, there's a friend of mine um, called It's Me Troy, uh, who is so fun, fantastic simmer, um, who has what looks to be, I'll show you right now, a really beautiful looking Sims house. The vibes in here are like immaculate. The kitchen, are you kidding? Um, I kind of want to go over and watch Troy maybe and spend some time over there so I can go start the raid. Um, and I will catch you all on Monday for some more, um, some more sending, but thank you for hanging out, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Happy weekend. Uh, Airs and Potato and Fire Dick and Orion, thank you for the subs. It was good hanging out with you all. I always have fun on stream. It's fun to just hang out and chat. We finished a build, we played the baby challenge, um, and uh, I will see you in a bit, okay? Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Bye! <laughs>